Developing news from KXAN News. We are learning new details this evening about the accident that killed a Lakeway police sergeant on his way to work this morning. Sergeant Chris Doles was driving along Ranch Road 620 near Anderson Mill Road when his truck crossed several lanes of traffic and slammed into a tree. That accident shut down all lanes of traffic for several hours along 620 this morning as officers investigated. Tonight, we have in-depth team coverage for you. We begin with KXAN's Omar Lewis, who joins us live from where it all happened. Omar. Good evening, Leslie and Robert. We have seen several cars stopping and coming here to this crash scene to pay their respects to Lake Ways Fallen Sergeant. And if you take a look here, you can see the fresh tire tracks that are still on the ground. And then you can see like right here is the tree where that sergeant's truck came to a stop. Now over at the City Hall of Lake Way, we are expecting a news conference to get underway here in the next few minutes. Lake Way Police Chief Todd Radford, who just flew back in town today, is expected to take the post Podium to talk about his fallen officer. Of course, we will keep you updated on this press conference throughout our newscast. Here's what we know about that crash, though. The site is just a few miles from Sergeant Dole's home. After speaking to witnesses and gathering evidence from the scene, APD investigators say there are no signs the sergeant was distracted. They sat. There is, they say there is a possibility Lakeway Sergeant might have had a medical emergency in the moments before the crash. An autopsy is scheduled and may provide key clues to what happened. Now, the sergeant was a Army veteran who spent most of his career in police enforcement, doing service in both Gerald and in Waco. Now, he is survived by a wife and three kids. Today was actually his second year anniversary with the Lakeway Police Department. Tonight, we're live in Northwest Austin. Omar Lewis, KXAN News. And some folks in Lakeway just learning about the officer's death say they are very saddened by this news. KXAN's Ignacio Garcia has a look at the impact of the loss on the community. Flags at half staff outside the Lakeway Police Department as locals start learning about the death of one of their small town police officers. Patty Melton Piacella was compelled to bring a token of her appreciation for Sergeant Doles. As a former volunteer with victim services in this area, she worked closely with some Lakeway police officers, including Doles. We're like one big family, and uh, so it's really a true loss that, that we had today to lose one of our officers. The 47-year-old officer was popular and involved with his community, an instructor with Lakeway Citizens Academy, according to some of his students, and an honor guard with the force. Folks all over town are shocked. So what went through your mind? It's very sad. We're a small community and it's, you know, pretty rural out here still. So yeah, it's pretty rare. They say he will be missed and they share the heartache with Dulce's brothers on the force. My condolences and prayers go out to him and to his family and to all of the, those that are affected, the police department. Coincidentally, Dulce served exactly two years to the day with the Lakeway Police Department. He is survived by his wife and three children, plus two others in guardianship. In Lakeway, Ignacio Garcia, KXAN News. 